Paris. Paris is said to be a city of love, l'amour, the Seine, the Eiffel Tower, and Notre Dame. After reading her grandmother's diary, she leaves for Paris. It is year 1914, and she decides to investigate. She can't believe her eyes. The art, the love, the lightning. Now she knows for sure this is going to be a magical summer. Inspired by her grandmother's diary, she decides to do even more research. A bit excited about this diary. Is it a fairy tale or is it reality? From Breitner to Vincent van Gogh, an artist who left for artistic Paris at the beginning of the 19th century, she is sure there's something going on in Paris. Almost misty, it's like she is in the French Revolution. In year 1914, it is restless in the city. Society is characterized by changes. Revolution and changes in form of government follow one to another. The European continent has a restless attraction to artists from all over Europe. She continues reading the diary. Despite the political situation, there is an increasing number of people coming from all parts of Europe. Doctors, lawyers and artists. She can't deny it. She is swept up in the midst of the city. She imagines herself in different fashion styles including the tight vintage dress, the perfume and the high heels. Paris, a city that takes you into a music game, a city you must see. She reads on for a while and notices that her grandmother is naming a second city, perhaps even more important, cultures and countries, countries and cities. This filled with unique people like you. Let yourself be carried away and don't be afraid to dream, because dreams are not always a deception. Lots of love, me.